Hola everyone, it is me, Marius, and I hope you're having a most magical, wonderful Wednesday. It is Wednesday, the midweek, and uh, we already got one speaking, and uh, it's uh, been a very unusual week. We'll just keep it at that. Very unusual. Um, we're using the Angels and Ancestors OK deck, and I've got like cards flying out left and right so we must have a lot of messages um or something really um okay really going on let's go and see if we got anything else that kicks out or that might be the last one that's face up on the floor but <clears throat> it is a wednesday and a special thanks to uh my friends over at cloud 13 i had such a discombobulated morning i had to go and do um, office laundry and a couple of other things. You had a couple other errands. And okay, there we go. There's our last card. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I gotta go get that card that fell on the floor. Okay. Alright. So we got about five cards. Uh, get a snake. A oh, whoosh. Freudian slip. Get a snack. A snack. But the first card is snake. Okay, and you know, a lot of times people get the ooh and the ah going on. Oh my God, it's a snake. That means we have some really hardcore, you know, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Put that to the side. Snakes mean wisdom, knowledge, learning. It's that experience in it. And in that, we also shed an old skin. Uh, for our new one to come through. So a lot of times when we see the snake, let's not freak out and think of it as something negative because it isn't anything really truly negative. What it's talking about is major change coming through on you. You're going to be shedding some old skin. People <clears throat> don't like that. People don't like that at all. The uh, problem with it here is, is that it happens rather abruptly, um, kind of, um, you know, spur of the moment. Uh, so there's not a plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan, you know, etc. It's, uh, it happens, it happens, it blows up, and you grow and you move forward on it. That's what this is talking about through here. It's kind of like... Um, <clears throat> finding um, new information or growth or whatever, uh, something that you t entirely didn't expect, and it happens, and you're going to do just fine so far through this. Okay, because you know, you know, you know on this card, okay? So... It being very abrupt and happening, um, kind of spur of the moment, you might feel at that very given second, that very given moment that it occurs, you might feel so totally lost or out there someplace else. However, here, let's turn them off, okay. However... What's really going on in here is everything that you already knew. You know, we don't give ourselves enough credit. We don't give ourselves enough credit for the, our level of intuition that we have. Carl Jung says that everybody is an intuitive and that you deep down, you really know what's going on. But we need something to trigger that memory or that thought process in order for it to occur, okay? Okay. All right, so you have that inner knowing, and even though it looks on the outside like everything has just blown up and totally, like, chaotically out there, you have a little bit of a calm, maybe not calm, but a, a, a sense of balance, even though it can be kind of uh, inflated balance there, you know. You have a sense of balance with it. You have an inner knowing. You really know that the storm might suck, but we're going to be okay through that storm. 
okay so that's that initial part of it and that's about honoring that and um utilizing that energy now when we start looking at end results you know so how does this all kind of shift where does it go to well perhaps you see things maybe through different a different perspective um a different set of eyes okay and it made me laugh because what i just saw in my head when i'm like what uh you know shifting a perspective uh it was like um do you ever pour paint you know or do abstract painting you know you take that paint and you pour it and then your uh work and you're working with that paint and then you get it to where you know it's it's kind of like where you want it or whatever and you set it down and you let it dry and then you pick up that painting and you actually turn it several times and you look at it from different perspectives until you get that clear picture well that's what this picture here or this card is talking about that card is talking about taking those that whatever the scenario is, whatever the situation is, is that sometimes you've got to step outside of that situation and start looking at it from many different perspectives. Start looking at it from many different perspectives. Super important point, and it's really getting drilled into me um, at that moment all right don't forget who you are on this next card don't forget who you are often when we go into what I call servant mode we are so worried or preoccupied with taking care of everybody else's needs that our own needs are not being addressed or taken care of and that's what this is talking about here. It's talking about making sure you touch base with who you are as a person, with what your emotions are in regard to these situations, and you know, work at finding a sense of harmony within that. Often what's going on in our lives can be very overwhelming and we can take these emotions and they get so extorted, yeah, extorted, as well as exploited and expanded far out from what they really were intended to be. And that happens. That happens. Emotions can, um, emotions are kind of labile sometimes. And um, they can run in different directions depending on what's going on in that situation. All right, the best part about this is the last card, and it's because he's got such dreamy eyes. Well, it's a little bit more than the dreamy eyes. He has a dreamy response. It's the stargazer, and he talks about set your sights higher. And I really look at this about as set your standards higher. Often, we are in, uh, as I was talking about a couple of minutes ago, in servant mode and you're taking care of everybody else that you forget who you are set your personal standards a little bit higher so that you start striving to achieve those standards and be the best friend to you that you can be all right peace love and harmony i hope to see you very soon